almeno quel prefetto il lupo allora disse all'agnello tu sei quello che l'anno scorso ha insultato mio padre e poi esclamò che se non era stato lui allora sicuramente era stato suo padre a insultare il padre e subito dopo gli saltò addosso e lo sbranò uccidendolo ingiustamente Cubado. ora I loved the sense of intrigue throughout. Um, and I really love when films provide a dive into its framework and ideology to meditate on um, near the beginning. So the rest of it really permeates and per and kind of marinates in that. Um, and I thought that framing it as a lecture was the perfect place to do so, especially in the context of where they are in their life as university students. Uh, great intrigue created and it really escalated throughout the seeds were planted in the lecture and then the tension and mystery grew brilliantly um i love the moody atmospheric lighting and the setting for this experiment to unfold felt really authentic but exciting and uh ultimately really good full circle storytelling where we end off where we began but we got to see the ultimate impact of this result and uh, of this experiment. And I thought it was really well acted too. Everybody was living in that world and living with the the weight of it. Functions very well because it focuses really on the morality of the tale rather than anything overly glossy or superficial. It really lets its story speak for itself also and maintains understated dialogue um, that still manages to sound quite prophetic and meaningful and intelligent. I very much enjoyed the lighting and styles of cinematography during the party scene in particular. It really showed how the wolf was coming out of the character in this figurative sense. I liked the opening that it was the teacher talking to these pupils and it was up close on his face and his mouth and you didn't know who he was talking to really at first. Um, and then you kind of come back around once we know what's going on a little bit more. And I love the students. I think they were really different enough to kind of feed off each other really well in this. Um, I liked all the acting. I thought all the acting was really good. Um, There was a two shot at the window that I really liked of the teacher and I think it was his wife. Um, and one of the lines I like a lot, we do not inherit the land from our fathers, we borrow it from our, from our children, I thought was really great. The locations were great. The, I thought there was a lot of great eerie sounds and great music that helped set the tone throughout. I really liked the reddish lighting in the apartment when I think when he went to grab the mask and go to that party, it was really cool. And um, yeah, I just thought that the moral is, are you going to be a wolf or a lamb? We both have both within us and one decision can change, um, can change that. And, you know, you have the power to make the choice either to kind of sink to that level or be the better persons. I liked the way that the filmmakers set up the story with uh, the professor at first. I thought that the cinematography in this was absolutely sensational. I thought that it was great. The, the music that they chose really gave it a sense of foreboding in a lot of areas where it kind of helped to build that suspense Their story was excellent. And I think that it was really, really well acted. All of the actors in this did such a great job and helped bring this to life where you could see something like this happening. I enjoyed this film's approach to human nature through the masks we wear, uh, how we use them and how they transform us. I like the secret society vibe and these performances were awesome. It is engaging and such a great cliffhanger at the end as well. It is very well told. I love the um, whole lecture vibe and the whole party and how one of the characters says, I thought you were different. And this all falls into the how the masks can really influence our personalities. Diving into 
Um, the fact that people don't need an excuse to justify their behavior. There are several different versions of the story that exists, but in each story, there is this element that the wolf wants to eat the lamb and makes up any excuse in doing so. And this lamb sort of represents, you know, the deceitfulness of evil men. And what honestly stands out the most to me um, is in the end when they both have gotten in trouble for um, essentially getting in their fight. Um, we have the, the quote-unquote love interest, so to speak, kind of uh, make the comment of, I thought you were different, but you're just like everybody else. So it goes to show that, um, that you know, you can um, kind of set yourself up to live in this lamb persona, but also deep down you can be um, a wolf yourself and um, kind of goes that anybody could channel this part of themselves. Uh, this piece is really nice to look at. I really did like the execution of the masquerade ball. I really enjoyed the different lighting elements and the costuming pieces. Um, this sort of cult mystery that goes behind um, who truly um, carries the essence of the wolf that we kind of see through this secret society's eyes. Kind of you, you're dealing with like some fun darker concepts um, with this idea of this mask and you know what it does or what it means. Clearly the professor has been lecturing about this stuff and about you know behaviors and things like that uh, in his class and you know trying to see if his students truly are paying attention. They have this really really interesting night of this ritual-esque scene with you know the fire on all these different people and they're all wearing these different masks and then you have such a contrast with that with this kind of college party and the bullying and how it gets out of control but it is a masquerade so everybody is in masks so I thought that was really interesting to have that be the one thing that is kind of in common with these two events that are happening at the same time I thought was really really interesting and it just kind of built really nicely to this moment where he finally kind of has enough and snaps um and then what I really really enjoyed was seeing the kind of fallout afterwards and you know the next morning and how the professor responded how other classmates responded um just like I said the kind of fallout the you know, consequences of, of that fight of him kind of snapping. And I really liked that they included that. I really enjoyed that it didn't just end on the night before.